Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome back to Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official game of the movie. I've got to reload. Around 40 bullets on backup. All right, well, let's reload then. I don't actually know whether this game is one of those games that throws out the bullets you have in your clip if you reload too early, or if it's one of those games that uh, just reloads all of the bullets into your clip magically. Uh, like a lot of video games are. Um, but anyway, welcome back. Uh, this might or might not be the last episode. I'm not entirely sure, but we are getting close. We need to go back to the island, find Kong again, save Anne again. But, like I said last time, she's, she's not like, uh, Anne in this game is definitely not like, um, Mary Jane in the, uh, Tobey Maguire, uh, Spider-Man trilogy. Like, Aunt, uh, Mary Ann... Uh, Mary, Mary Ann. MJ, wow. Mary Jane. Uh, MJ. In, uh, Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man is constantly getting captured. Whereas... Like... Anne is constantly getting captured, but, like... She's doing so to save everybody. Like, she called Kong herself, knowing Kong would capture her. Be but there was just no other choice. Take that! We're gonna need... We're gonna need to fight our way up to the... To his lair. Casually... Sniping our way up. No weird flying bat. We're gonna need more backup. Also, maybe I should just snipe some of these guys with my sniper rifle. Can I snipe you with my sniper rifle? Ah, I have exited the danger. You can tell because the danger music has stopped. Oh no! The danger music has started again! And now the drama music has picked up. Oh, nope, the drama music has passed. We have survived another day. Oh no! More danger! Can I hit these guys from way over here? Mm, we need a bigger, like, way up. Alright, I'll just use my sniper rifle like a sniper rifle. No, you, you got one more shot in there. All right, let us save. Truly a brutal gauntlet of enemies that Jack uh, can defeat. Even if he only has one more magazine on backup. Hello. Oh no, has the sound failed us again? Something about the, um... There's something about, like, the... the damage state that's really causing the sound to screw up. So I'm gonna... reboot back here. Alright, so... what's probably going to happen... That, I keep grabbing the spear before I grab the gun, and that just makes me have to drop uh, 
the spear. So I have to pick up the spear again. So what's probably going to happen is I'm going to try... ...to make it as far as I can without sound issues. If at any point... I get sound issues while playing. I will keep going until I get to the beginning of the next level. I'll probably turn the sound down for you, the viewer at home, so you do not have to suffer in the same way that I will be suffering. That way we can at least make progress without constantly being oh, held back by very old bugs. Since, like I said, the game doesn't actually save your state. It kind of like say it like lightly saves. It's just like a soft save of your checkpoint while you're playing it. But in order to fix the bug, I need to go like all the way back to the dashboard. Which does not help progress. Alright, let's snipe these fellows. Oh my, hello. Hello! Anybody else? I heard another bat. Oh, music has stopped. Do I have to reload? I will reload. One magazine on backup. One magazine on backup. We're, we're running a little bit low. A, a little bit light on the ammunition. sure one more of them is still alive down there but is choosing not to die you know I'm pretty sure they can't follow me in here so let us save our game as is our way You know, what might prevent us from finishing this game today isn't the game itself, uh, but it isn't the challenge of defeating Kong. It, it is the, the uh, software issues, the bugs, so many years later. Oh, hello. How are you? One oh. bullet left on backup. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, no, I can reach that pretty easily. Oh, that actually, I think, hit it. Alright, let's go in between here. Oh, 
Last magazine on backup. Okay, nope. Where do the stairs go? All right. Nope, no, no. Let's let's go up the stairs away from this dinosaurs. Uh, will not bother us on our way up. Why are there more of these? Oh my gosh! No, no. All right. What are we trying to do? Where are we trying to go? Do we need fire for some reason? I guess save even though we're not exactly in the greatest place. Health or uh, ammo wise. We have no ammo. We have no bones. Or spears. Hmm. I wonder if that's where I'm kind of sort of meant to go in like an escape type scenario. Like I'm supposed to escape back in this direction once I have the thing I need. The trick is trying to figure out where I actually have to go from here. Alright, I'm gonna drop down. run here oh my gosh now Okay, so there's a fire here. There's bramble there. Okay, looks like there's stairs on the left. So, in theory, I can grab one of these spears, hightail it to the stairs on the left. Last spear, by the way. Hightail it. Um, I wish he wasn't patrolling that area so... so well. Okay. I tail it over here. Oh, we need bait. In order to get this lever. And we curl that spear at you. And... It does not look like he can follow me up here. There's that. But I also don't think he can follow me over to that door. Yes! We have defeated him and distracted the flying dinosaur. 
No, that didn't work. That's fine. Okay. And we will definitely not be harassed while we slowly, slowly open this gate. Oh, a gun with bullets. We are saved. In Inglehorn has saved us. And it's a shotgun too, which is even better because that's always the best game, uh, best weapon in most of these older games. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We have made it to Kong's lair. Where we will find his stuff. Okay. Save our game. Oh. Okay, order of operations. The button that is used to strike the box is the same button used to pick up the spear. I was trying. Yeah, nice. Why did I get the shotgun right before this? Okay, where is where is the sniper rifle? Two magazines on backup. Now you need to reload. You didn't tell me you needed to reload this thing. All right. I cleared him out with the sniper rifle as best as I could. But now we need to get up close. You know, Kong, you've got a real bat problem. In your lair. It just like you step out of your lair and then these bats are just going to start attacking you like every day you get up in the morning you go to work flying bats it's not a good time you need to do some pest control oh hello all right let us let the drama pass Can I climb up this side? No. Oh, hello. Haha. <laughs> Is Kong in? It sounds like he's in. Is he awake? Is he aware? Will he be happy that would be heroes? Like, he doesn't care about the gunshots, but then he's a giant ape who lives on an island where they don't have guns. He would just be like, what are these loud noises? And probably recognizes the gunshots. Uh, hmm. Anybody I need to worry about? Millipedes, bats, veno, venus, venosaurs, alternate velociraptors. You know, a lot of these areas, like this, presents the idea that, like, 
Is this a cave structure or brick structure? Who built these areas here first? How long have they uh, been here since Kong evicted the previous civilization and claimed it for himself? Ah, yes. It is Kong and Anne. Does Kong know that Anne needs food? Does Kong know what kind of food Anne eats? Would Anne eventually just die of starvation under Kong's care? Anne, it is I! Look towards me and the skeleton. Anne. Anne, right there. I'll come to you. Oh my gosh, so sleepy. Oh no! It's a serpent monster who hasn't been introduced yet. No, get back here! We will defeat it in the same way we defeated the bats. No, get get off of me. How do I There we go. Oh my gosh, that did a lot of damage, I presume. Nope, nope, nope. I... Actually, that wasn't terrible. Like, it's taking a little bit, but... Um, no. No, no, jump. Oh my god. Stop. Like, I would like to use the charge up, but it seems like I'm just surrounded. Oh my gosh. So many things to jump to, like... And the problem with simplification is when you have so many buttons... ...that do the same... ...that do uh, different things, shall I say. Like, the X button is dash, but it is also jump onto the wall. The, uh... So if I want to try to dash attack this fella, I need to not be by other interactive items that do the same thing. But yeah, I'm trying to do- I would like to do the charge attack to- because that would probably make this fight a lot easier. But there are a lot of these little ones. I'm- do I have to keep- Oh, there are two of them. 
Is this just an infinite spin attack? Just like an infinite whip? Until I get interrupted enough? Um, just a minorly ambiguous fight scene. Let's get rid of you. And then, like, the hitboxes are, like, like, the enemies are way off screen. Oh my gosh. I'm hoping... That somehow this will eventually, like, lead these bad guys to such a damaged state. that they just are defeated. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to stop twirling this bad guy around like a whip. Eventually. My curiosity is like, is there something I'm supposed to interact with? Because, like, normally he just kind of, like, grabs onto... ...an enemy and just defeats it when its health is relatively low enough. But, like, there's no health bars, so I don't really know what their health is. he dead? I don't know. He kind of still gets pulled over somehow. I seem to only be attacked by one of them now, so... So maybe it died? All right, let's hope for the drama to pass because I don't want to have to do this again. There we go. No, no. I'm, I guess that was success. That wasn't... No, no, stop. Swinging. Stop cinematically punching these giant worm creatures. Just defeat it. Fight through these streets of rage. There we go. That's, that's what I've been trying to do. Can we get to the less ambiguous Jack Driscoll scenes? <laughs> Although I suppose like this like both Kong's aspects 
and um, Kong's parts and Jack Driscoll's parts show both like how you can have great examples of minimalistic displays um, and how one how it can work and how it can't within one game. Oh, thank goodness. We are we are the the victors today. We have defeated these these creatures. But yeah, like how you can have these minimalistic HUDs and for like Jack Driscoll, I think it works a little bit better. It's not perfect. Don't Quick. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I can do those. Oh, I am already at the surface. Let us climb onto this raft by this uh, very convenient ramp. And? Thank you. For what? Not leaving. Coming to get me. For what? Writers are pretty you, awesome. You think he'll try and follow us all the way? You can bet your life on him. What do you want to do? Let him be. Stop treating him like a monster. Stop making him into something he's not. We should all get off this island as fast as we can, Jack. We don't belong here. Oh no, it's Skong! He's found us! Also, like, I, I just found her incredibly slow head tracking. Hilarious. Let us save. Like, I would still say that there are aspects of, uh, Jack Driscoll's, uh, sections that would be improved by the presence of a HUD. Um, like, you don't really need, I suppose, a health meter if you only take, like, two hits before you die. Like, that- the presence of a health bar is not necessarily going to make Uh, Jack sections better, but like an ammo counter. Ooh, hello. Huh? Do I get a gun? Or are we just running for our lives? Hello. Anne? Where, where, where's Anne? Anne. you oh thank goodness yes <laughs> success is ours <laughs> oh, thank God. They're, eating each other. they're eating each other and then they're gonna eat me oh my god oh my you just ran Ran right up to the dinosaur. 
What were you expecting? Okay, let's hope for the best. Oh, because uh, I think we were supposed to show up um, while they were in combat and not afterwards, but Anne had got stuck running against a wall. Do we need fire? All right, let's grab some fire. We've done this before. Yeah, no. Nope. Can I hit the bramble from way over here? Yes. And there's Anne, just patiently waiting for the bramble to get burned away, right out in the open. <sighs> Alright, let's save our game. At least she's not running directly to the dinosaurs that will eat her. Come along, Anne. How did you know? How can you tell? Why are you constantly talking in whispers? I mean, we're, we're surrounded by dinosaurs. So there's that, but still, I... You can speak up a little bit. Oh look, it's one of those bonfire structures. That means a level change. Fantastic. But yeah, is Kong, like, knowing how much health you have, that would be nice. Knowing how much health enemies have, that would be nice. Um, having more than, like, largely two moves. Like, you have a charge up ability, which makes your regular attack stronger. That's not really a move. That's just, like, that's a buff. Like, it doesn't really... It doesn't give you more options in combat. Eh. It doesn't really give you more moves, should I say, to use against bad guys. Uh, let us drop some fire. Like, if you had more than just punch and then dash punch. And grab. Like, if you had, like, a punch, like a light punch, heavy punch. Two more. Over there. Oh, no! We got it. We can stop the bad guys from doing what they normally do on the island. Ah. Oh my god. Haha. <laughs> Okay, you're dead. Excellent. Oh my god. Ah. You got that one. Whew. Good job, us.
But then I wouldn't spend so much time, like, fighting one boss and wondering, like, how much damage am I doing? How much damage will it take? How much longer is this fight gonna take? The Skull Islanders. They found us. I can tell. Should I throw a spear into one of you guys? They're really aggressively burning the grass. Shall we let the the grass burn? It must be a dry season on Skull Island. Ow. For the grass to burn as quickly as it is. Oh look, a bonfire. It's a level change bonfire. I can always rely on the, the approaching level change bonfire uh, for a moment's respite. 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 I don't actually know the pronunciation of that word. But alas, only a moment though. We must leave again. Oh, hold on. Can I... One more try. That technically worked. Hmm. I'm probably... Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, I'm supposed to burn something nearby us. Okay, I heard noises of dinosaurs. But I do not see the dinosaurs. Oh. Hold on. If I can just... grab the fire... I can just start setting everything on fire. I don't need to throw anything around. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Ugh. All right, what are we... What is our goal? Where are we going? Anne, I want answers. Oh, never mind. Thank you, Anne. For finding the... Nook in the wall. We're almost to the wall. No. Oh. Jack, look. This is where it all started. Actually, it all started at the boat, but I mean, like... Deserted. Yeah, this the Skull Islanders kind of like wandered off. Something's not. It's our only chance to get back to the ship. <sighs> but how do we? How do we cross? And where are you? Oh. I know what I'm gonna do. Come on, Jack. What the? Over here, Jack. Okay. <sighs> Don't move from there. I'm gonna look for something to help you get through. All right. <sighs> uh. 
Now something that is Man, There's something I want to tell you. What is it you want to tell me? It's a trap. Something the video game doesn't necessarily cover uh that I so I read the wiki about the movie to see where I left off like how accurate the video game is to the movie. And like one of the things the video game doesn't cover is that Anne in the movie is a is like a juggler. She's like a vaudeville performer. And that's what how she like distracts Kong is with her uh, juggling. Am I supposed to pick things up? And throw them at you guys? Or I just go to you. Ah. But there's still one more, damn it. But maybe that's enough. Okay, where is the climbable point here? Uh, is it this tower on the... Oh, the climbable point is this on the left. Wow. No, no. There we go. Alright, luckily Kong doesn't care about one spear thrower. You know, life was so good on Skull Island until the Americans showed up. We sacrificed maybe only like a handful of people per year to Kong. This camera angle could use some work. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. Now I see it. She needs to go over, chuck a spear, burn that up top. Once again, like, video game Anne is remarkably resourceful. Like, she didn't have to do half these things in the movie. Alright, let's save our game. While we still can, very easily. Take that! Take that! No! Are you not sure? Ends with him. Don't worry. He'll be fine. Keep it up, boys. 
Oh no, Kong sleepy. Chloroform gas for some reason is not affecting Anne. It's just affecting Giant Ape. Who would have expected this? I believe you haven't learned anything from Dad, your time on this island. What have you done? You're gonna kill him! Don't worry, Anne, he's not gonna die. And uh, yeah, absolutely nothing's going to go wrong. Uh you, he's definitely not going to escape from your Broadway spectacle. He's not going to rampage through the New York streets. He's not going to climb up the Empire State Building. Uh he's not going to be shot down by airplanes. And you're not going to be like, It was beauty that killed- No, sorry. Mm. It was beauty that killed the beast. I don't have a very good Jack Black impression. Oh no, Kong has inevitably escaped from his... ...from his restraints. Although, like, this section especially is, like, a nice change of pace versus, uh, spending all that time in the jungle. Now in the urban jungle. Can Kong survive fighting alongside the snowy streets of New York? We have to up the neighborhood. We have to surround him. And Darrow offered to the beast. Okay, video game, you can show me where the Empire State Building is. No, no, no. Oh my gosh, no, climb. No, no, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, because I'm... I keep hitting the dash button. I need to... Or is there another way to get it? No. Oh my god. The camera is practically no no oh jeez practically unusable. All right, let us lift the bus now that we have moved the machine gunners away. You can put the bus now down now. Like you're not showing off to Andero about how. Ah, you can lift a thing. He's going towards the Empire State Building. Block his way. Yeah, you don't want. Oh, 
Hold your fire. Oh, like now uh, people are willing to hold their fire while Anne is near. <laughs> uh, that close up was maybe a little bit too close. Oh my, his shadow is just. Oh, oh no. Come. Move to the corner and press X to climb building. Oh, no, 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 don't jump off. Son of a... Alright, we've, we've, we've finally figured out... No, no, don't jump off the... How do, how do you... How do you just keep climbing? There we go. Oof. That was a struggle. Assassin's Creed, this is not. Heck, Assassin's Creed wasn't always Assassin's Creed. Sometimes it was just hoping for the best. Okay, let's not hit the X button while we're climbing. Take that, plane! Ha-ha! <laughs> Another victory for Kong! And so many victories for Kong! I'm pretty sure uh, I've hit all of the planes that show up in the movie. But alas, in the game there are an infinite amount of planes. An infinite amount of pilots. There is no hope for Kong. Yes, Carl. It was definitely women that 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 caused the problems. It was not this this narcissistic maniac who got his entire crew killed in an attempt to shoot a film on location with barely the existence of a script. Then capture the giant monster, bring it to New York, put everybody's lives at the uh, in danger. It, 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 but it was it was it wasn't Carl that pres that placed Kong in such a dangerous area that would cause Kong to be defeated. It was beauty that killed the beast. But yeah, that was Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official game of the movie. It's all right. It's not great. I feel like. It's, it's, it's an interesting experiment in regards to, like, it's minimalism, it's minimalism towards gameplay, it's minimalism towards presentation. 
Um, and I feel like some of that minimalistic tendencies kind of prevents it from going too far. But at the same time, you can also kind of see, like, as a movie tie-in game, like, how much of a budget did they really have? And I think they did a lot with what they have. Um, you can tell, you can see areas where they skipped. Like, uh, you have your level break bonfires, you have a lot of these repeated ideas. Um, but for a, a lower, let's say lower to mid-budget game, it makes sense. Because you have to know how much you can do and how much you can reuse. Um... I don't know if, like, I feel like uh, Kong scenes could have benefited from more complexity, or at the very least, like, more moves, like punches, kicks, what have you. Like, it tries to go for a big cinematic flair for all of his battles, but it also, at the same time, becomes very repetitive. So a lot of his sequences are very basic in comparison to Jack Driscoll's sequences, which tend to have more puzzles, more exploration, um, more scenarios where you're like, okay, uh, how do I progress past this section? Whereas Kong is more like, just mash buttons. J just um, hold the up button, hold the up analog stick, punch thing, dash punch, there's not much going for those sections. Um, but otherwise, it's an interesting... Uh, like, this is definitely one of the better... One of the best, I would say. Even at all right. Even even at a quality status of all right, it's still one of the best uh, movie tie-in games. Although that doesn't say much, considering a lot of movie tie-in games absolutely suck. Um, it does a pretty good job in regards to stretching out the uh, storyline of Kong, which is already kind of stretched out for the movie, but even more so uh, for the game, so that you have more island to explore, more monsters to fight, uh, more places to visit. Um, and of course, we have additional characters, like Lumpy is not in the Wikipedia page. I feel like that's, uh, that's missing out. Do they have all... And they they apparently had all the original actors do the voice acting. Which might also explain why Naomi Watts is constantly whispering. Or though that also kind of says more towards the direction that they've received. But we're going to do one thi more thing before we go. Conveniently, I'm able to, uh, to cheat to unlock all of the extras. We're not going to... I don't know. Should I... Uh, should I just record all these for, uh... Like, are these online in any format? I'll have to look that up. For now, though, let us... do the alternative ending. To King Kong. Kong has arrived on... The Empire State Building. Beauty is about to kill the beast. Will history remain the same? Will things change once more? Okay, so far it's kind of the same. Excellent. We're a little bit better at punching these planes out of the sky. Alright. Come at me, bro. Gotcha. Can't stop me.
Nah. Yep. Still going down. This alternative ending is not promising to be very alternative. So far. Also, I, I, I like the distant, like, cardboard standee of New York. To represent, like, the presence of buildings. Up oh, here we go. Anglehorn. All right. Oh my god. We had we had enough time to like throw together a rough flight simulator. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's fly a little bit away. Uh, Do another pass. There we go. Do I need to shoot down all of the planes? Um, um if, if, you know. This game wasn't wasn't made to have a flight simulator. Like the fact that it's here is it's kind of like the fighting game in uh, Matrix: Path of Neo. Or no no, uh, Enter the Matrix. All right. Ah, more searchlights. We're not done yet. Oh no, we did it! We saved Kong! Kong lived! It was because of Brawn that saved the beast! And there he is, still proud upon his island! Um, Inglehorn. Is there a reason why you decided to stop your plane? You, you, you probably need your e engine. Or are you just tempting fate for no particularly good reason? Okay. Now we are done. In the meantime, got any suggestions for someone to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.